G'day folks and welcome to my top 10 fish to see in the Solomon Islands. Coming in at number one, the beautifully goofy Barramundi Cod, Chromoleptes altibilis, also known as a humpback or panther grouper. A strangely named fish, it's an unusual member of the grouper family Serenidae, which are often called cods in Australia. The barramundi part comes from this fella's resemblance to the actual barramundi, Flates calcarifa, which is a whole other family and usually in estuaries like this guy in the Noosa River. Barramundi cod though, is a spectacular juvenile that mimics a toxic flatworm as it flaps about madly with oversized fins in a head down position. They slow down and get much smaller spots as they age and become chill reef residents. They are territorial and fairly rare on the reef and are protected in Australia. Coming in at number two, the many spotted sweet lips, Plectorhynchus ketodonoides. These guys have a very similar life history. Big spotted crazy swimming juveniles which will turn into boring small spotted hovering adults like this guy in Fiji. Number three is the pinnate batfish, Platax pinnatus. Another beautiful juvenile that again mimics toxic flatworms like this guy from Tonga. Much slower moving but equally graceful, the pinnate batfish doesn't age well and sadly becomes a rather drab loner. Aww. The longfin batfish at number four is one of the real characters on the reef. They start out life drifting with floating algae and unfortunately plastic rubbish these days like this little guy in Indonesia. This time is spent drifting and looking for mates. Once they grow enough, they settle first as long skinny critters hanging in groups among the tall eelgrass before finally returning to the blue water in sometimes huge schools. They spend lots of time on the reefs getting cleaned by my all-time favourite fish, the cleaner wrasse, and often swim on their sides to make the parasites more accessible for the wrasses to do their job. At number five, the strikingly coloured lined surgeonfish. The supercharged herbivore lives in the often wild shallows where they ride the surge in waves with grace and speed. They are usually hard to film or photograph because of their habitat, but in the Solomons, the 900 plus islands create glassy calm shallows where we can catch glimpses of species that are often very hard to get to. The pink tail triggerfish at number six is often overlooked because of where they live on exposed, diverse hard coral reefs like here at Mary Island. They only need a small patch of sand among the coral to build a nest and you can approach them more easily like this little beauty. My number seven is Morrison's Dragonette. Like most members of the family they are well camouflaged and easily overlooked but strikingly beautiful if you can get close enough for a good look. These little guys make short, sharp movements and hide in between. They feed on tiny invertebrates in the coral rubble and usually caught every day around dusk. Number eight is another shapeshifter, the painted sweet lips. Like all other members of the family, these guys change color and pattern as they age. In this case, they flap around mimicking poison fanglenies when they are small. They graduate to sub-adult coloring to blend in with other schooling sweet lips and turn into a drab silver as adults. The awkward teen stage is the most beautiful with all those gold dots. And if you park yourself near a bubble coral cleaning station like this one, you're bound to find them coming in for a clean like these guys. Cleaner shrimp and wrasses work together. Number nine is Gil from Fighting Nemo, the Moorish idol Zanclus cornutus one of the most beautiful and easily recognisable of all the reef fish. They're in a family all of their own and are the only species I've ever seen that swim with opposing pectoral fins. Lots of reef fish flap their pecs to get around, but alternating between left and right is something unique to these guys. Closing out the piscatorial top 10, I've chosen Dory the Pallet Tang. One of the most beautiful of the surgeon fish family, they hide among branching corals as juveniles, where they blend in well with the neon damsels that share the rubble. As plankton eaters, they like current swept areas and clear water, as do I. Check out the longer individual shorts on the socials and stay tuned for the next 10 reasons to visit the Solomons with me in 2024.